Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south. More specifically, Alamo, Tennessee, in between uh, Memphis and Nashville, Tennessee. Um, three days ago, I was in uh, the Los Angeles area and I put effort into getting as far east as I could within a couple of days. Within two days, I had already made it to the midway point of Route 66. It took me two and a half weeks to make it to the end of Route 66. It took me two days to get back to the middle point. I kind of saw the Route 66 and rewind. We saw the, the, the attractions by the signs and the attractions I saw before, but this time they were going faster and going in reverse order. Um, because I'm trying to get to Red Boiling Springs, Tennessee for Ghost Hunt Weekends. Uh, this weekend I'm going to be doing an event uh, where they have invited me as an invited guest to uh, be part of their Ghost Hunt Weekend where they search for ghosts, where they have guests come and stay the night and try to see if they can come up with any paranormal activity. So uh, today though, uh, we're going to check out something uh, a little different. So we're gonna check out the Tennessee Safari Park. It is a drive-through uh, animal attraction where you can drive through and feed the animals from your car window. All right, we got our bucket of animal feed right here on the dashboard, don't wanna spill that. And then uh, we head into the safari. Oh my gosh, there's a big two hump camel there and a couple ostriches. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, you gotta let me in, I, or I can't give you any food. Mr. Camel. Just, we'll just wait. We'll just wait for Mr. Camel to move. Seriously, um, Camel, I can't even feed you. You gotta come around to the window here. Come on, buddy. Mr. Camel. This Camel, okay, is he coming? Mr. Camel, you, you want some food right here? Oh, he can't walk over here because of the grate, but he also won't back up and let me come in. Come on, buddy, let me let me come in. I want to feed you. There you are. You want you want some food? Oh, 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 jeez. That was a naughty camel. You tried to just steal the whole bucket, and you slopped up my car. No, it's a very. Oh, you're still a good camel. I just don't know why you did that. Okay, now I find you very intimidating. <laughs> Let me, uh... Oh, oh, I... Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 okay, okay, I'll give you just a little bit more. Don't try to steal it this time. Oh, no, no! That's my only bucket! Oh. Ah! He's got a grip on it. He won't let go. Camel, come on. This is not cool. I was trying to feed you. Oh. Look at the mess that the camel made. Ah! That was a, that was a mean camel. He tried to steal. I'm afraid this is a mean camel too. Can we throw some of this out? No, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone, I'm scared of you. Oh. Yeah, go to that car. They got food, I'm out of here. Camel, no. Uh, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're in my car. Uh, oh, he's cleaning my lap, that's okay. Thank you. Oh. This is an absurd situation. He's he's pulling. He's got his head in my lap and he's eating all the food. Oh my gosh. Okay, is that enough? How about is there like a limit on how much you're supposed to <laughs> I don't 
want him to bite me. I'm scared. Oh my god. Get him off me. Get him off me. I don't really scared. Ah! Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Go ahead, Mr. Camel. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna please get your please get your head out of my car. Oh my gosh. You know what? Oh! Ow! Oh, he's biting me! He's biting my elbow! Okay, you know what? Ow! 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 Please, just take it! Please! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I got bit by a camel! Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry, uh, sorry adorable deer. That big camel, he bit me and took all my food. See, so yeah, I can see right there where the camel bit my arm. Um, I don't think he was trying to like hurt me or harm me. I think he was just latched on my arm and trying to get me to, trying to pull me the food out, trying to pull my arm because I had the food in my hand. So, I think I'm okay. I don't know if camels have rabies. And he did. There's an ostrich knocking on my window. This place is madness. I don't have any food. The camels took it. But, uh, yeah, I think he was just trying to pull my arm out so that he could, uh, that he could, uh, oh my gosh. So he, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Leave me alone. It's a monster. Oh, oh my gosh. You hear him peck on the window? Oh my gosh. I don't have any food for him because the camel. You hear him pecking? I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I don't think the camel was trying to, to hurt me. Yeah, it doesn't feel. It was very tight. Like, it was not like. They don't have sharp teeth. But I think he wanted that bucket of food really bad. And he was trying to pull my arm so he could take the food, which he succeeded. That was um, legitimately terrifying. Some zebras over here. They don't seem too interested in the car. So I'm gonna have to fight off a zebra. Oh, but you, you get away from me. You scare me. Hey, Mr. Llama. Um, no, nothing personal. Oh, see, there's, some, there's some horns. I can see it over there. Sort of horned animal. So here's the thing. Like, I would love to feed you. And you look very sweet. But I, can't, I had this bad experience with a camel. So I'm a little afraid to, to open the window for you. I'm afraid that you might bite me. Or I don't even know. I, 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 I'm flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted that I just got manhandled by a camel. Or I guess camel-handed. Is more like it. Sorry, you guys look so sweet. You guys look so nice. You think those llamas would do to me what that camel did to me? What do you guys think? Oh, look at that little guy right there. He's so cute. Look up there at those camels up in the pen. I wonder what. Oh, oh, hey, llama. I don't got no food. I don't got no food. I don't got no food. I don't have any food. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not having food, but I would give it to you if I had it. Do you want to be petted? Is pets, are pets nice? Do you not care about pets? You just want food. They're ferocious. Ferocious. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. There is food down there, but it's not in a bucket. Let's see the deer here. The big antlers. Oh, baby deer crossing. Be careful. There's a speed limit of five miles per hour. And, uh, what kind of animal is this? It's like a, it's like a gazelle, a gazelle or something. Oh, don't be careful. I would afraid if you stuck your head in my car, you'd get stuck with your antlers. I don't have food. It, I was manhandled by a camel. I wish I could feed all you animals, but the camel, the camel took everything. He, he stripped me of everything I had. There's another camel there eating, eating from the hay. 
I don't know, is grabbing onto people's arms with your mouth, is that a normal camel behavior? Yeah, I would feed you camels, but your uh, camel, camel brethren stole all my food. I would have loved to feed all the camels, but that camel was a greedy camel, and he wanted all, all the food to himself. He didn't want you guys to have any. I would have loved to have been able to, to feed you guys some food too. Well, I don't like the way this llama's looking at me. Hey, llama. There's no food in here, I'm sorry. Uh oh, oh, careful. They keep reaching for my, my groin because there's food there, but they can't quite, they can't quite reach. Their necks aren't long like camel necks. There's a pen full of kangaroos in here. Yeah, kangaroos would probably punch you in the face and take your food. No, 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 no. Sorry. 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 I was, I, I was intimidated by you, so I rolled up my window. What's he doing? I don't have food. I would give you food if I had it. Oh, he's pecking on the window. You animals are very aggressive. Are very aggressive for food? Okay. That is a creepy sound. All right. All right. All right. Can I move along? I get nervous about driving off. I don't want to run over the animal's toes. But I don't know. I think I'm good. Oh man, this is a this is a intense experience. All these nice friendly animals eating out of this car. <laughs> I guess they didn't get their food stolen by the big camel at the beginning. And that camel wouldn't let me in. I should have known they were trouble. Hey guys, I don't have any food. I'm sorry. Oh, he's trying to block me in. He doesn't want me to go. I don't have anything. Look, my hands are empty. Can I please pass, Mr. Llama? Or are you an alpaca? I don't know the difference. Okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me pass. Hey there, tiny little bull. I don't think you're even, I don't think you could even lift your head up high enough to be fed. But I don't have any food, so I'm sorry. Oh, look at these pigs over here. Oh, those are cool. What kind of pigs are they? Those are really unique looking hogs. Look how, the, look how the ostrich creeps along. Hey, Mr. Ostrich. Don't peck my window. Don't peck it. Don't peck the window. Don't. Oh, he pecked it. He doesn't care. I don't know. If I had food, I would give it to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are these? Hey, guys. Love to feed you, but I got robbed. All right, we are entering the bison field. Enter and feed bison at your own risk. Oh my gosh, if the camels were this dangerous, imagine what the bison are gonna be like. Um, okay, well, we're gonna go for it. I don't have any food, so I don't have to worry about them being dangerous to feed, but I don't know, hopefully they don't gore my car or something. Oh, there's a little bison right there. Also, they call, they call them buffalo. I guess the correct name is bison. A lot of people do call these animals buffalo oh no 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 Woo! i don't know what kind of animal these are now they could be maybe caribou or reindeer just not entirely sure over there you can see the big herd of bison hey there Hey bison, you're so cute. You're so cute, but I I had a bad experience with a camel and I'm afraid that you'll bite me. But um, I do wish you luck in finding food for maybe some other vehicles. Um, I like your, your very fuzzy face. I think that's adorable. And I think you're gonna I think you're gonna do well in the in the bison world. Wait, well, why are you getting up? I'm getting up. No, no, no. I was just enjoying, just enjoying your presence. I didn't need you to come over here and try to stick your massive horns <laughs> in my car. Hey, Bison. 
that a white, a white buffalo there? I know the white buffalo have a lot of significance when it comes to Native American culture. The big herd of, I don't know, I always, I, I like calling them buffalo. That's just what I've always grew up calling them. I know that like technically that's not correct for some reason, they're bison. But uh, I think it's okay to call them either. Just take your pick, right? Look at these deer here. Uh-oh. They're all rampaging towards the car. You guys don't seem so scary. You guys seem pretty nice. Oh, look at the baby deers. You guys wouldn't bite me and take my food. I know it. You guys seem very nice. I don't have any food. I wish I could feed you guys. You guys look so adorable and so much like you'd like some food and I just, I don't got any. I wish I had some. I didn't know that the first animal I saw would take all my food. But, uh, yeah. you guys, you're, you're a nice looking herd. You, know, you stick together. Sticking together is what makes a good herd. And I think you guys have what it takes. And I also think you're walking away because you realize I don't have food. But these two, these two, these guys here stay. Oh, look at that little white one. He's cute. So it was, it was a pleasure meeting the herd. Um, you, you guys, you guys take care, and uh, you know you, you you live the good deer life. <laughs> I like your antlers. They're very cool. Oh, you guys don't have antlers. You're babies. These babies don't have antlers. There's a little white ostrich-like creature. I think that might be a, a Rhea. There's another one slurking at me. Oh, and there's a big, big ostrich blocking the road. Excuse me, ostrich. Okay, this must be an alpaca. He's got a super cute haircut. Love the hair, Mr. Alpaca. It's a big clump of deer right there. Someone must have dumped out their bucket or the deer stole the bucket or something along those lines. Hey there. Hey, hey big cow. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, he just, bumped, he just rammed the glass. It was licking, licking the glass. Are you licking my car door? Yep. Hey, camel. Oh! Oh my god, he's so big. Look at this guy's hump so big that it's like falling over to the side. Oh, jeez. This is a full on camel onslaught here. Oh my gosh, look how big, look how big he is. He is a giant. You are a big boy. A big boy. Oh, it's one of these white camels that bit my arm. Oh, 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 watch out, watch out, okay. Oh, giant monsters, okay. Monsters. It was one of these white camels. Were you the one that bit my arm? Was it you? Was it you? I think it was. Maybe not. You seem you seem sweet. Oh, you can see they actually have some giraffes over there. They lean over the fence and take food from the car. That would have been cool to be able to feed a giraffe, but uh, but I don't got no more food. I'm getting a lot of food from this car up here. Wish I had some food for you guys. I'm sorry. All right, so looking at the camel bite, I, I don't think it's that bad. It, um, camel's teeth didn't break the skin. It was more like, like grabbing my arm with its mouth. I mean, it was tight. It was pretty scary, but, uh, there's some red marks there. I don't know. There's no real bruising besides those red marks and no blood. So I think I'm safe. I don't know what kind of diseases <laughs> camels have, but, uh, yeah. But the camels did leave a big mess here all over me see the council in my car it's got food all over it I got food in my pants 
food between my legs, food down there on the floorboard. So yeah, that was really scary for a moment uh, when the camel grabbed my arm. It was very strong. It had a good grasp on my arm. I could not get my arm free. I didn't know if it was gonna bite down further. I didn't know if it was gonna try to pull me out of the car. I think in the end, all the camel wanted was the food bucket. And once I gave the camel what it wanted, um, it, it let go of me. But that was, yeah, I mean, that was scary. I can only imagine like getting attacked by um, a, a more predatory animal, like a bear or a tiger. And that was just a small taste of that. I can't believe how terrifying that would be to be attacked by, uh, by a more vicious animal. Oh my gosh. I, uh, and I, and I don't know, I may have been, it may have been my fault. I probably shouldn't have had the food this deep down in my car. I shouldn't have probably had the food between my legs. That was probably a bad call. Uh, I probably should have kept it where I could get it away from the animals easier because the camels can actually have a long enough neck where they can just go down and get it from there. And I guess you don't want them to be sticking their head in your car. But if you put it, if you had to put it like maybe somewhere further away where they couldn't reach it they probably wouldn't have gone for it so i'd say that was probably my mistake i would say be very careful if you're going through a drive throughs do with the camels they are crafty they are uh, greedy they will try to steal your bucket but uh, they do have a uh, a walk through zoo exhibit too so we're gonna we're gonna check that out now oh what a what a horrendous mess i mean look at this taco bell wrappers all over the floor and the <laughs> the camels made a big mess too there's some kookaburros, little kookaburros down there. And then up above, on top of the kookaburro enclosure, there's this big old peacock. I think that is a albino wallaby over there. Looking around. Hey buddy, what are you doing? They don't have elephants here, but they do, I guess they have a fiberglass elephant so elephant but in fiberglass form ah look at that happy little lion over there see a fiberglass zebra over there oh, there's a fiberglass zebra over there in the bushes this is parakeet landing as so we walk into the parakeet enclosure oh we have a beaded curtain there and oh look there's a little parakeet on the ground careful little buddy what you eating oh don't you guys know how to fly what are these are these quail you guys aren't parakeets either here comes some sort of stork-like animal. Yeah, what are they? Oh, he flew away. Oh, I see this peacock here. He's trying to impress these lady peacocks there behind him. There sure are a lot of peacocks in this zoo. Right, look in here. Two little tiny monkeys. Hey, little monkeys. Oh, they're, are they fighting each other? Are they being mean? Hey, monkey. What are you looking at, monkey? Oh. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, tiny little, tiny little monkeys there. Oh, looks like they're wrestling a little bit. You monkeys like to wrestle? Oh, look, he's chasing him. Oh, what do you got? What are you eating? Yeah, that one's got like a yummy looking, a yummy looking piece of treat. Oh, that other one's just shaking the rope. Now, I think this one's like a bully. He's pulling on the other's tail. He's showing his teeth. Are you a mean monkey? Oh, that monkey just peed on him. You guys are, you guys are mean little stinkers. <laughs> Oh, you got a 
scratch your back. It's got itchy. It's a Burmese black tortoise. And again with the again with the peacocks. Oh look what we have here. Little little baby camels. Hey cow. You guys are cute. Not allowed to feed or touch you guys. You know, I just want you guys to know, you know, when you grow up, don't bite people. Don't steal food. Be good camels. What's wrong? You guys are gonna grow up and be nice, nice camels and, and and take just the right amount of food and not bite people. What do you think? That was kinda weird. Are you lemurs enjoying your fruit salad? Drinking he's drinking there out of like a hamster bottle. Hey lemurs. Oh, we're gonna get some fruit? Oh, is that a yummy apple? Oh, he just grabbed an apple, put it in his mouth. Oh, he's gonna get that. He's gonna get some fruit too. What do you like? Do you like apples? You like the apples? He's an indecisive lemur. He doesn't know what he wants. Oh, oh, he's got something. Reach in there, grab something. Oh, he's just taking a whole bunch. He's stocking up on fruit. Here's some cute little tiny baby goats. I think you are the tiniest of the goats. Goat, are you supposed to have your head out there like that? Are you a disobedient goat? Hey there, Mr. Giraffe. How are you doing? How's the weather up there? Oh, is he, is he biting the roof? What are you doing, silly giraffe? So thank you for joining me here today at the Tennessee Safari Park. Follow my tips and you won't get bit by a camel on your visit. Remember, don't put the food between your legs. If, if, if the camel wants the bucket, let them have it. It's like when, the, like when, you, when you work at a store and they say someone comes to rob the place, you just hand them over the money. You're not, you don't fight them over the money because your life is not worth the money. Don't fight a camel. I didn't fight him, I didn't punch the camel, but I, I got in a little tug of war with him because I didn't want to, uh, didn't want to, to lose my only bucket of food, but camel, camel always wins. Just like the house always wins, the camel always wins. So don't put yourself in an oppositional position with a camel and you won't get your food stole and you won't get chomped on. Beware, watch out for the camel. Be responsible <laughs> in your local safari park. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys like the video, please subscribe and uh, it'll let you know when new videos come out. I'm continuing my adventures to get to, uh, heading east, I'm going to the, uh, I said next up we're heading towards the Thomas house where we're gonna do some paranormal investigating um, yeah and if you guys would like to support the channel consider donating to patreon three dollars or more will get you a postcard from me once a month also selling enamel pins and Etsy shop very soon there will be a new enamel pin debuting in the Etsy shop and uh, yeah all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, beware the camel, and this one's in the bag.